And good morning, you magnificent men and women in your magnificent flying machine. Good morning, Houston, and thanks for the magnificent music for magnificent crew at Houston. And good morning, Eileen. And Charlie and Jean-Francois are with you in the tunnel. And Atlantis Houston, we're on board looking into the space hab. Hello, Jean-Francois. Go ahead for Barak. Uh, wake up link F O eleven step six. Copy. Lannis Houston for the folks in the space hab, we're looking over your shoulder in. Atlantis Houston, in preparation for the upcoming BioRack activity, per our pre-flight agreement, uh, we think it'd be more efficient to split the air to grounds. Roger that, Chris. And, uh, would you like us to configure for air to ground two back in the half? Affirmative. And we're uh, setting up the CIC on the ground to match. Okay, we'll go ahead to ground two in the hab, and if somebody on the flight deck.
Atlantis, Atlantis, good news, we got a good satellite image. We'll downlink that to you now. We see it, Charlie, and it uh, it's a good, clear image. Chris, the, uh, the green cross here is not dead center. It's uh, tangent to the 4 o'clock position of the circle. Uh, Tell me, aren't you a bit scared about boarding the Russian space station? Because it's been a pretty dangerous place to be, hasn't it? No, the most difficult thing we did, uh, we did yesterday, and that was the liftoff. And that has by far the highest risks in it, because you're going from zero miles an hour to uh, 17,000 miles per hour. And when you're traveling at that kind of speed, it's also quite hard to know over which part of the country you are at any one time, because you're moving so fast. And we've done that. We're in space. We have all that energy now, we're in orbit, and uh, the rest of it is actually quite a lot easier. Thank you. Michael, can I first of all ask you, um, how do you view the prospect of more than four months on Mir? Will you be lonely? Uh, no, I don't think so. There are two other people going to be on board that spacecraft with me, and uh, that's Vasily Sibelev and Sasha Lazutkin. I already know them well and uh, have spent some time with them both in Russia, where I lived for a year and a half, and then uh, also on travel with them in Houston. And as a result, I feel quite close to them, and we've exchanged some messages with, uh, before my arrival to the mayor, and uh, by email, that is, as well as also uh, by radio from Russia, from my house in Russia. So I feel I'm going to be uh, with friends, and so I won't be feeling particularly lonely in any way. How confident are you that Mir will be safe? Because it has had some serious problems recently, hasn't it? Well, I, I don't know if other people see it this way, but I see the Mir as a very successful but old um, car in a way. It's, it's been in space up to 13 years, and they've been putting uh, new parts in, replacing old parts. And if anyone's had a, an old car and maintained it, you know that as you keep on adding and repairing, things continue to break around those new parts. And that's really a, a fact, uh, a function of the fact that the Mir is living a lot longer than it was originally designed. And uh, yes, there has been some problems, but none of these are ever big showstoppers. They are serious to some extent, but we can always continue to uh, repair, improvise, and work around those problems. And the Russians have been extremely good at doing that to date. Now, this is all in preparation for the um, International Space Station, which is due to be uh, built soon in orbit. Uh, what do you see as the main purpose of the space station? The space station program, basically, the space station program is basically uh, conceived to conduct science and operations uh, development in space. And a big, big part of that is the um, endeavor of international countries working together to achieve those goals. As a result of an international cooperation in space, you not only get a, uh, a good science platform in orbit around the Earth, in which many, many investigators from other countries can all work in or send experiments to, you also get the experience of many countries working together and uh, working in a great project, which I see as leading us eventually out of Earth orbit to the Moon and to Mars and to uh, settle other planets. May I put a question to the commander, Charles Precourt? Uh, what's it like having a British astronaut among you? Is he made of the right stuff? He's warning me that I'd better say yes to that one. <laughs> Mike's a great asset to the NASA program, and uh, he brings a, a load of experience from a lot of different areas to us. Uh, and, you know, he kind of... Uh, hinted at the fact that the benefits of an international space station is that the fact that we bring together the talents of many different nations and in fact many different cultures and new ideas bring new ways of doing things and we discover new things together so yeah Mike is a great asset we're gonna miss him when we close the hatch but we're glad that he's representing us when we do uh, Mike again can I ask you um, what are you um, looking forward to most
Well, that's a hard thing to, to answer because when you're looking at a flight that goes on for four and a half months or more, um, there's a whole number of events. And of course, you always choose the operational ones as being the most glamorous, and therefore you say they're the most interesting. But I'll, and, and there are one or two out there. There are EVAs being done by the, the Russian cosmonauts. There are also, we're going to get in the Soyuz spacecraft at one point, uh, put on our uh, spacesuits, leave the space station Mir in the Soyuz, and then fly around to the back side of the Mir and join up again with it. So we'll get a nice fly around to the station. And I'm sure that will be a, a great thing, a single event to look forward to. But really the, the best thing is actually just um, living calmly and easily in space with two friends and uh, spending time together. Uh, Houston, Atlanta, sign back in the hab. We've got you on the downlink. And Eileen, Ecom is happy with the bag. Okay, I'll go up and take some samples.